At the ongoing multinational Pacific exercise RIMPAC 2024, the U.S. Navy openly demonstrated the new AIM-174B air-to-air missile for the first time. This missile is an airborne variant of the standard Missile 6, SM-6, intended for both anti-aircraft and anti-missile missions. The AIM-174B can target the opponent aircraft over hundreds of kilometers. On July 2, 2024, a F-18 Super Hornet, part of Carrier Air Wing, was seen in Hawaii carrying a pair of AIM-174B missiles. The missiles were designated as DATM-174B and NEM-174B. The former is a faithful copy for flight and handling tests, while the latter is a live missile significantly modified for testing purposes. The airborne variant of the SM-6, also known as the RIM-174 ERAM, Standard Extended Range Active Missile, was revealed in 2018. The first unofficial photographs of a Super Hornet with an upgraded SM-6 surfaced in 2021. Several fresh unofficial images were released between January and April of this year. The SM-6 had been designed as a naval missile capable of destroying enemy aircraft, helicopters, drones, cruise missiles, and ballistic missiles, including medium-range ballistic missiles. The SM-6 is primarily used for long-range naval air defense as part of the Aegis combat system. The AIM-174B reportedly measures the same length as the SM-6, which is 6.4 meters. From the photographs, labels on the missile indicate a weight of 857 kg plus or minus 6 kg, which is five times that of the AMRAM. The SM-6 has a maximum range of up to 350 km when launched from a ship using a booster rocket stage. The AIM-174B air version lacks a booster stage. However, the range may be 500 km or greater when launched at high speeds and altitudes. Furthermore, the AIM-174B appears to be effective against ballistic missiles, as Super Hornets flying several hundred kilometers ahead of a carrier strike group can considerably increase the group's missile defense capabilities. As a result, the AM-174B virtually replaces the retired AM-54 Phoenix, which had a 180-kilometer range and was deployed by F-14 Tomcat strike jets. The Phoenix missile, like the Tomcats, was removed from service in 2004. The AIM-174B, at this distance, will not be able to hit agile fighters due to limited maneuverability, high cost, and limited availability, but it can pose a deadly threat to enemy bombers, tankers, command and control centers, reconnaissance aircraft, etc. The SM-6, and therefore the AIM-174B, even has the potential capability to destroy satellites in low Earth orbit. There is likely nothing preventing the integration of the AIM-174B into other aircraft, such as the F-15EX, F-16, and others. In any case, the AIM-174B is already in operational use by the US Navy, which was confirmed to Naval News by a Navy spokesperson. The SM-6 air launch configuration was developed as part of the SM-6 missile family and is operationally deployed in the Navy today. With the AIM-174B, Super Hornets can strike, strike airborne targets at far greater distances than AMRAMs, which have a range of around 160 kilometers. The AIM-174B's effectiveness is enhanced by its network-centric warfare capability, specifically its integration with E-2D Advanced Hawkeye Aircraft, F-35C, and Aegis Naval Air Defense Systems within the Naval Integrated Fire Control Counter-Air Architecture, which is the naval equivalent of the Army's IBCS, the short form for the IAE Battle Command System. This capability allows the US to keep Chinese H-6 bombers carrying powerful aeroballistic missiles, like the anti-ship DF-21D, which has a range of 1,500 kilometers at a safe distance from American ships and bases. In the event that Russian bombers pose a threat to European countries, the AIM-174B can cover Belarus's entire airspace. In an actual conflict, this means that if such capabilities are available in Europe, no heavy military transport aircraft will be able to safely take off or land on Belarusian soil. Many Russian airfields in the country's west, such as the Alenia Air Base in Murmansk, from which two 95MS bombers operate, and the Saltsy base in the Novgorod region, from which two 22M3 bombers operate, would be unusable, assuming there are enough missiles and carriers available in Europe. Perhaps the most important consideration is how current and significant the AIM-174B danger will be against Russian or Chinese aircraft. Raytheon produces 100 SM-6 missiles per year, with plans to raise production to 150, maybe 200, by 2026, and 300 by 2028. However, these missiles are also designed for US ships, particularly the 76 Ali Burke-class destroyers and 12 Ticonderoga-class guided missile cruisers. Now, do you think AIM-174B can really shoot down the opponent's transport and bomber aircraft at extreme range? Let us know in the comments. We discuss such interesting topics every day.
Please like, share, and subscribe for more such stories in the future.